emergency render setup for speed. So those 40 things in this article are to optimize your scene without losing quality. But what if speed is your first priority and you can sacrifice some quality to finish faster? In this case, you can use the emergency render setup. This render setup techniques will let you control the timing of your render however you want, but quality will be affected. So use it wisely. The easiest way to control timing and lose quality is this V-Ray quick setting tools added in V-Ray 3.0 and above. When you press this tool, you will control all the render setup with those three sliders. One controls the GI, one controls the shading and one controls the anti-aliasing. Those sliders moved to the right gives you more quality and less speed. Moved to the left will lose quality and gain speed. If you are not familiar with the V-Ray quick setting tool, here is how it works. On the top here, you will find four icons, exteriors, interiors, virtual effects and studio. We will choose our scene type, in our case, exterior. Under the GI, we can use our render engines. In our case, we will choose irradiance map and light cache. So by moving this slider to the right, it increases the quality of the GI in both irradiance and light cache. The other slider controls the material's shading quality, and the last one controls the anti-aliasing quality. We can press render from here and see how it goes. So with this render setup, the frame took 7 minutes and 36 seconds. Let's decrease the quality by moving the sliders to the left and press render again. Now our render time moved down to 32 seconds. But of course, quality got affected greatly, especially in the noise and the anti-aliasing quality. So now we have 7 minutes quality and 30 seconds quality. With some testing using these sliders, we can tweak the timing that we can afford in between. So that's the first technique. Second thing is, I have made an optimized render setup preset that works greatly with most exterior scene. This preset will be available in the downloads section of this lecture. We will press load and navigate to the file optimized render setup. Press open and it will load up all the numbers I use for this scene. Now I have my trick to control the render speed. My trick is the noise threshold number. This number, when it gets smaller, closer to zero, it will not allow noise in your scene. But that comes with the price of more time. But if we gave Max the freedom to let some noise, it will render faster. Let's test at the noise threshold of 0.03. So my optimized settings gave me this quality in 7 minutes and 9.3 seconds. Now we will increase noise, but before we do, let's add a render element called V-Ray Denoiser. That's a new technology added in V-Ray 3.5 and above that helps decrease the noise in the scene in a post-production way. Let's edit and it will sure help. 
Now let's go to our noise threshold and increase it from 0.03 to 0.1 and press render. Now some noise appears in some areas but it could be acceptable. And the render time went down to 4 minutes and 55 seconds. If we went crazy and put a number like 0.5, the render time will go down to 2 minutes and 50 seconds. But out of those 2 minutes and 50 seconds, 2 minutes and 30 seconds of light calculations and only 17 seconds goes to the final rendering and of course the result is so noisy. So by now we have a great control on our final render time using quick settings, optimized preset and noise threshold. It's time to attack the light calculation time using the fly through technique in the next video.